friends, how are you doing? So uh, today we are on our way to get our monthly batch of fresh, raw milk. Now there's lots of reasons why we drink raw milk. Um, it is available legally in the UK, but only in vending machines. So I thought I'd take you along to see how we get our month's worth of milk and what we do with it and uh, why, just why we drink raw milk. Uh, so let's get cracking. Here we are, we are at the vending machine. This is our raw milk from Elwick Farm, home farm in Elwick. And this is what we come up to when we come in. So there is a vending machine and there are empty bottles in there. And then you can get eggs and honey and all sorts from in there. It's fantastic, I love it. So I set up my little, I've got my cool bag down here with some ice pack, an ice pack in it for now, because we're gonna go straight home. So this is how I transport it, and let's go. So that's what we do every month. I've got some honey out and put some money in the honesty box. Um, there's a CCTV camera, so thankfully they, uh, they know what you're doing. Um, and then we just come out and go for a lovely trip. I want to take you the uh, scenic route because we came down the A19, which is beautifully scenic in and of itself. However, we go home uh, the Hartlepool route and it is gorgeous. I would love to live round here. This is my ideal place. Little beautiful little village, um, little shops and everything, a little pub and then gorgeous countryside out there but still close to a main city. So that's what I would love to do. I'll show you where I'd love to live. So we drink raw milk as a personal choice. Um, we're very blessed to be near a, a vending machine that we can have access to, but we love the fact that it's a whole product. So a lot of people have a, a reaction and an intolerance to lactose. It's, it's very well documented. Um, but whole raw milk contains the enzyme um, lactase, which helps to digest the lactose. So it's like if you juiced an orange, you would be taking some of the benefits away by taking but just leaving the pulp. It's a similar thing with pasteurizing milk. Now, I'm well aware that pasteurizing milk happened for a reason, um, but milk that is raw is treated very differently from the cow to the dispenser. Um, milk that's going to be pasteurized and boiled and all that kind of stuff is um, there are certain levels of cleanliness that need to always be in place but there is an extra consideration for that when it's going to be f consumed raw it um, stainless steel has to be used you, if you saw on the um, vending machine all the inside was stainless steel it's antimicrobial it's antibacterial um, there's a it has to be produced on the premises the vending machine has to be on the premises of the farm itself so it's not being transported miles and miles and miles um, it has to be kept at a certain temperature some of these uh, a lot of these processes don't have to be 
um, the same for milk that's going to be pasteurised. So while we've done a lot of research, we feel that this is right for us. Um, it helps with nourishing your bones. It helps especially with children, small children, helps nourish you in a way that pasteurised milk doesn't. Um, and we know it's we're very blessed for it to be legal there's lots of places in the in this country in scotland in the uk in scotland it's illegal to sell raw milk um so you you can't unless it's your own cow and you're drinking it from your own land you're not allowed to to sell ed to anybody else raw milk but we're blessed that in england that we can um so i just thought you might like to come along and see um let's take it home and we'll see how we store it Oh, wind's getting up today. Uh, so we are home. We have brought the uh, milk in. It's very heavy. I don't know if you've ever tried carrying seven, uh, well, what's that, 14 litres of milk. Um, so I'm going to just check these because I've been in the um, car. But there was one that overfilled. And what we found is if they overfill and you freeze them, as they thaw out, um, the bottles can crack. Now we have got glass bottles that we can put it into, but if you notice, and then that I've got the one that's overfilled. So that one, let me show you the difference. Look, hang on. So can you see one is filled up to there, and that one's just overfilled a little tiny bit. It's right the way up to the top. So I'm going to keep this one out. There's only one of these. So I'm going to keep this out, and then all the rest can go in the freezer. So let's do that. Right. So they're all in the bottom of the freezer. I need to grab whatever that is there out of the freezer um, and they will sit there till we need them um, there's all just my stack of bones and me all sorts there outside. um it's a raining darling you can't go outside so that's now what we'll do with them they're in there for when we need them so that's our little raw milk excursion it's very windy look at the state of me um so we tend to go through that's seven so one in the fridge and six in the freezer that tends to just about get us through breakfast cups of tea things like that and we're getting to winter so cups of teas will go up as well just one second darling um so that will get us through probably a full month and we just as soon as we're getting down to the bottom of the last one the person who's using it goes and gets a fresh one out and defrosts it um you have to use it within three days i think it says but that's not a problem for us we love milk so um that is our raw milk journey hope you enjoyed it find one near you it's amazing you the taste is incredible it's what milk's supposed to taste like Try it.